Welcome back, you beautiful souls. You are tuned into your Feel Good Kickstart to a Thursday morning live with Expresso. So today, we are very chuffed to have joining us someone who is probably the closest real-life version of Superman we will ever get on the show, known for his truly spectacular strength. Strongman John McGraw has wowed people all over the world by breaking out of chains, bending steel bars, and driving nails into wood with his bare hands. Well, today, John is here to share a little bit of his story, and who knows, we might get a front row seat to one of his strongman performances. John, so good to have you here. Great to be here. Even if you punished our Ewan a little bit this morning, I know he loves that. And I, I think there is something truly spectacular about the way that you live your life. You set such an incredible example. Has it always been like this? Was there a turning point for you? How long have you been tuning your body to get to the level of performance that you are now? For me, I always knew that strength was to be my thing. Everyone has their thing, eh? And um, if you follow your thing... Um... Did you, like when you were three, did you bend your toothbrush? <laughs> how, how, did you, how did you first know that, okay, I'm a strong guy? Um, I, it, it, it just becomes apparent, um, you know, as, as you're young, you start doing things like hanging your friends up upside down, <laughs> see if you can hold them up yeah, for time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> boys will be boys. Yeah. Um, You've turned this passion and this natural ability into something entirely different. You've become a high-performance coach to some South African heroes, the likes of Ray Nettling, Luva Manyonga, some of our favorite stars. What does it take? I mean, there is that old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You're dealing with guys who are already achieving at the mm -hmm. top level. What do you have to do to push them to the next level? Well, it's just that it, it, it's that tiny pieces, you know, um, that little little things that, that you need. At the top, it's, it's a very small change. And you cannot have enough belief in yourself. You know, the, the stronger the belief, the, you know, the, the more powerful you're going to be. So it's growing that belief. And it, we live in a world where, you know, that belief gets knocked out of us, yeah. actually, you know, from, from that age. And those who can, who can believe can actually achieve. That's, that's what it comes down to, getting that inside them, growing that step by step. It's like, you know, tiny steps, but growing that, that seed of belief. And once you get that, wow, the magic happens. Maybe that then follows on to my next question. Can we all achieve that? Obviously, you deal with guys at the peak of their, mm -hmm. their physical kind of mm -hmm. prowess. Me as an everyman, as an every woman out there, can we achieve those so same sorts of goal achievements mm -hmm. in our own lives? Great question. I, I don't believe that there's an every man or an every woman. I believe, you know, that everyone has got something in them. I believe every single person has got the ability to be world class in something. But you must find your thing. There's no point in saying that I'm going to be a gymnast. You know, we live in a world that says, oh, you can do anything. You can't quite do anything, <laughs> but you can do your thing at an incredible level. Yeah? But it's a question of finding that thing, having the confidence to pursue it, even if it's cr as crazy as driving nails through uh, three inches of wood or whatever that is. Find your thing, no matter how crazy it is, no matter how, how bizarre it is, the world will love it and you will love doing it. Um, and that cycle then repeats itself mm -hmm. over and over. Yeah. I'm already feeling the buzz here, and that's partly because you brought a little trinket with you, and I say little trinket in jest. You've yeah. got what I have already felt is a pretty heavy steel bar, so I'm going to ask our cameras to rise and rise quite a bit with us here. Uh, John, how tall are you? Um, 198. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I've just I've tested this. I can't bend it. Um, let's see if you can. I'm just yeah. going to throw it out there. It's a, it's a it's question. It's a difficult enough to bend. It is a difficult to bend, but how I'm going to do this is going to be a little bit different. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm going to need some encouragement here this morning. To Come be able on, to do son. That, uh, Come so. on, studio. Um, can I get a little bit of oomph here? <laughs> no. No. Oh. Come on, John. Yeah, Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh. No, please! Ah. Come on! <laughs> Are you kidding Whoa. me? <laughs> oh my word. Ladies and gentlemen, Jan Oh man. Just want to check the teeth are yes. all still there. Oh, it's not a cheat bar. I cannot even move it myself. John, you're a champion. You're an Thank inspiration. You. Thank you Great so much for joining us this morning. Oh man, what a way to kickstart your Thursday. Please do not try this at home, okay? Please, please, please don't try this. But you can look up some inspirational videos and start applying it to your own life. Start achieving those goals in your own world. Anything is possible if as long as it's the right path for you. Awesome stuff, dude. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. Wow! <laughs>